everyone. So what I have what I have here is a collective another collective Dollar Tree haul. So let's get started. Okay. Um, I heard these are really good lashes. I don't really wear false lies, not eyelashes, but when the occasion arises and I do need some, I figured these would probably be, you know, pretty good to use um, because of the fact that they're uh, faux mink, okay? Um, so I got this one right here. This is by, uh, is it Ioni? I think it's Ioni because they're not tone. It doesn't look like a T. It's an I. Ioni, um, this was in the Natural Light Wispy. And um, I did get these, which I would probably end up using probably more than just the regular lashes. These are the individual lash extensions, and um, they're the Wispy Medium. So I got those two, okay? I got my usual favorite Lifesaver gummies in the Wild Berry flavor. I have here a tray which I am probably going to um, use at work because I have two big monitors um, that, that I have on my desk and this can fit underneath one of them where I can throw all of my stupid post-it notes where I write all kinds of stuff and I just still can't seem to throw away even after I, I know that I've entered the stuff in and I just don't need them anymore, but you never know. So I'll probably use that paper clips, pens, whatever put on there so they're not just rolling all over the place. Um, I picked up some socks here. I figure since I do like the Peanuts gang, I went ahead and got this one with Snoopy and Woodstock. This one where um, Snoopy is world, the World War II flying ace and Joe Cool. Okay. So they're all, uh, oh great, I thought they were crew, but they're not, they're no-show socks. Well, that's okay. I'll still try them anyways. Um, I have here some stickers. Okay, like I said, like I need more stickers. I d don't think I've picked these up. I've seen them, but I don't remember. Actually, I might have, but I just don't know where they are. Um, and I'll get into that in a bit. So these are mason jar stickers. They're like the enameled ones because they're raised. I got here the perfume bottles, which are beautiful. Christmas ornaments. Okay. Um, colored light bulbs. Different um, types of vintage bottles and water bottles. I only got this one right here, which I have a feeling I already have, but I'm not sure. And like I said, I will get into that later. <laughs> so I have another bag here. Let's see, these bags are driving me crazy. Um, these are all different purchases, different days. Okay, more of these because I always gotta have a stash of that on hand. I got the, these Wonder Woman socks because I am a big Wonder Woman fan. No show once again. Um, oh, these infernal bags. Okay, and so this is what I was talking about with the stickers. First of all, let me get into the other ones that I got. Okay, so I purchased these yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. So these are supposed to be, uh, it's like a whole scene basically. I haven't taken it out yet, but it's just really pretty. I mean, you know, got this one here and this one here. And then finally, one of the Dollar Trees, the bigger Dollar Trees, finally got um, the die cuts, die cuts, die, the dies, the cutting dies that everybody else has been showing. So I'll give these a go. I mean, they were only a dollar and you get three, so that's not too bad, right? I picked this up to give to one of my nieces. It's a career doll outfit, but it's a nurse, okay? Um, I got these. I have a box of these, but I'm gonna keep these at work. Um, I like using the bigger pencils when I do have to use a pencil. I probably should 
use the pencil more often. Um, but yeah, I picked that up. Um, they also got the, um, I guess, what do you call it? Like the Cricut, the Cry Cut, I'm sorry, silhouette slash, you know, scan and cut kind of tools, but I'm not going to use that because I don't have any of those. Um, I can use this to pick out stuff, um, if I need to. And also this for like, I don't know what, but I figured, I mean, it's a dollar. So, Hey, can't beat that. I did pick up another lash cause I thought this one was really pretty. Um, this one is called the wispy flare spiky. Okay, like I said, when am I ever going to wear lashes? Well, I did pick up two because the fact that um, they didn't have many of these yet. And it's funny, I decided to finally buy these lashes when they don't have much. And I remember seeing them when they had just put out the display. And I was just kind of like, nah, no, I don't need to get it. And then I wait until they're almost out. Got the lash glue because I figured, hey, probably works well with it. Um, picked up some... Tic Tacs. Um, this one's the extra, the X Freeze Strong Mint. I like mint. I don't like winter green. That burns my mouth, or rather my tongue. I picked up two of my favorite um, lotion or moisturizer. This one I like to use for my hands because you know, with all of the constant hand washing and then the um, uh, what do you call it, hand sanitizing, my hands dry out really fast, and I don't want to lose my fingerprints like my mom did being that she worked as a nurse for like, what, 40 years? She doesn't have any more fingerprints. Or rather, it's really, really hard for um, when she has to scan her fingerprint, like on her phone or whatnot. Like, you know, I remember when I went with her one time and it took an hour for them to scan her fingerprints because she, the ridges, I guess, in her fingers and the prints were like just so, because her hands were so dried. Like they gave her Vaseline and they still couldn't like get you know, fingerprints from her. So I want to take, I want to take care of my hands. You know, I want, I don't want them to get wrinkly. So I do moisturize and I like this one because I do, I did get the, um, regular Pons one. I think it's the blue, the darker blue and that's great and all, but it's kind of oily. Like when I'm writing at work, my thing, you know, I'm leaving fingerprints all over the paper and then my pen will skip because of the oil on it. And this one's a little bit lighter, but it still keeps my um, hands you know, moisturized. So I'm stocking up on that. Um, I'm still trying to finish off the other ones, but definitely want to keep getting this one. I repurchased, um, more of these beads because I just think they're really pretty. And for a dollar, it's not bad. They're the iridescent beads. I got to start making stuff with these beads because I have them in a case and I haven't used them yet. And then I did get, finally got the jump rings. Um, they finally got them in. I didn't think they were going to be this small though, but you know, I'm still not going to pass it up for a dollar. That's not bad. I mean, you get, I don't even know how many are in here, but that's a lot. So pick that up. And then speaking of those stickers, I purchased this container because I wanted to put all those infernal stickers in there because I find that I buy them. And then it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. I'm pretty sure everybody has this problem. Like if you don't see it, you're not going to utilize it, you know? So every time I buy stickers, I need to put them in here. Like I'm going to do with my, um, stuff from Hobby Lobby that I did a video on and put them all there. So that way, uh, like I said, as I'm buying, I'm actually put these in there too for my Amazon haul. So, I'm looking around here because I know I have other stuff around me. Here we go. From previous hauls, for instance, more from Hobby Lobby. Um, yeah, I'll, I know I'll find more because they're laying around everywhere. So yeah, see that? So I'm going to put that to the side. And then the fun part here. Oh, forgot. I always pick these up because I use these a lot. The placards, not bad for a dollar. So I do have a book haul. Um, I might as well go ahead and include it. I'm not gonna make a separate video. I picked this up because I do love street photography. When I'm traveling, if I'm in a big city, you'll find me doing this. <laughs> um, Cause I like to do it on the, on the sly. And um, yeah, it's just fun because you get a lot of interesting um, 
you know, shots when you do it on the fly like that. And this one, I mean, you know, it's, it's talking about all the basic stuff, but still, it's kind of, um, it's still kind of interesting to read. This is an older book. I don't know, let's see, when was this published? I believe this might have been published early 2000s. Had to be because some of the cameras are mentioning are kind of old, you know? This is a first edition. Wow, it doesn't even say what year. But anyways, so I got this book, Dollar Tree. I picked up a couple of books for my niece to give to her on her birthday. Um, hold on here. I don't remember if I included this one. So this one is Sweet Home Alaska. Um, yeah, she should be able to read this one. Um, uh, she likes graphic novels. So I found this one, which is called Fuzzy. It's not a graphic novel. I'm sorry. This one is not. This is just a regular book. These two, I think, hold on. Nope, this one's not a graphic novel either. Dora the Lost in the Lost City of Gold. Now, I don't know if she's if this is already too young for her, but I'll give it to her anyway. She'll probably like reading it. Um, and then I did get this um, Suey and the Shadow. So this one is a graphic novel, as you can see. So I probably should read this before I give it to her so I know that it's okay to give to her, <laughs> you know? Because the other one's obvious. I can give those to her, but that one, not sure. Um, I feel like there is something else missing. Oh, yes, see, out of sight, out of mind. So when I was at one of the Dollar Trees, guess what they got? I'm not gonna take them out of the bag. They got those mass containers. So I picked up 10 because they had a whole bunch and oh, I knew it. I knew I was going to, I forgot something. Hold on one second and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do with all of these mass containers. I'm going to use them for ephemera that I fussy cut out. So, well, that I purchased online, printed out, and then fussy cut. So this one, for instance, I purchased the Flourish, oh, I can't even talk, the Flourish collection, Flourish, um, from the American Crafts shop. Um, I actually purchased the entire ephemera collection for this particular one and I've only printed out one sheet so I still have oh excuse me way more to print out and cut out and I figure this is a really good way to store them um, so what I did was let me move this thing out of the way what I did was use my um, what do you call these label guns? <laughs> I used my label gun and um, just went ahead and labeled that way. I mean, I could have used my thermal printer. Um, I have a Fememo, 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 but I don't have the smaller um, label sticker, which I should order. I have to see if Amazon carries it. Um, but I figure this is a good way to use this. I've been wanting to use this. And by the way, this is, um, I purchased this from eBay. What was it? Probably last year. And then I ordered the um, labels from um, Amazon. And it's not a dyno. It's like some off-brand, but it was really cheap and I got a bunch of them. I don't know where I put them, but um, yeah. And this works really well. Um, this is a, I think this is a vintage one. I don't know what year it came out, but I like it because it's, you know, it's easy to maneuver. The only thing I have to remember is to pull out the tape a little bit so that when I'm cutting, I'm not cutting into the last letter because I had to redo flourish three times because it kept cutting into the H because I didn't pull it out. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be conservative and like not pull out too much tape, but I apparently was not pulling out enough. So that's why. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything. Um, I'm looking around here if there's like any other bags that are just sitting around, but I don't think so. I think that's it. All right. So I guess that's it for tonight as far as filming. Um, I'm going to try to edit one video so that I can get it up in the morning and then edit the rest of these.
tomorrow. <laughs> uh, hope you all, you all are having a good weekend and a good week, and I will see you again. Okay, bye-bye.